Hello there, my name is Marcos Montenegro and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Once you know how to build centroids or points itself in Outrex, you can also calculate the distance between these points. So Outrex gives you an uh, easy tool to calculate this, this distance and you're gonna find this tool in the special tab and in the distance tool here. So once you push this tool to your canvas linked to a dataset with points, you can be calculate this point. So, like here in this specific data set, you can see I have 10 rows and each row is one client with their respective address. I have the store number here with the number of the store this client uh, bought something from me and I want to calculate what distance my client need to go to my store. So this way I will know who uh, needs to spend more time uh, to come to my store and I need to have here the point or the centroid of my client in one column and in another column the point of my store so having these two points we can calculate the difference between them and calculate this distance all right so after you link your distance to, to this data set with these two columns you're gonna have this configuration and the first thing you need to configure here is what is your starting point and your destination point so what is the source and the destination in the source you're gonna use your customer point and in the destination my store point because I want to calculate the distance between my customer and my store points right so here is that the first thing you're gonna configure and always these two fields here need to have some data uh, related to coordinates all right so need to be a point or a centroid or in the destination can be also lines and polygons all right also here in the rest of the configuration you have a few more options so you can select here to output the distance and probably you're gonna use that option but also you can output the cardinal direction like if that destination goes to north to south to west west and you also can output the direction in degrees so how many degrees that goes uh, when it goes to the destination all right you can calculate that as well and here in the units you can select what units you, you want to use like miles and you have a few more options here like here I have all these options to calculate to configure how I cal I want to calculate my distance between my point and my polygons so if I want to go to the center of this polygon or just to the nearest edge so all this, these things you can you can uh, configure here in this part and if your company have a data set about the the drive time distance uh, you can also here uh, use this option and points to this data set to to have drive time information as well between these two points you want to calculate i don't have any here but if you have you can point here and calculate this time all right after you finish to configure this distance tool in the anchor output here you're gonna find new columns there so you're gonna find like here the distance column and uh, with my distance between the, these two points I selected in the distance tool so now I, I know how many miles I have between these two points and I also know the direction what I go when I, I go from my customer point to the store point so here in this, this example this row two I need to go soft to go from my customer to my store 
right? You can know that. And he, also, the distance in the direction degree to go this distance. So I know exactly the the degree I need to curve to go to to this direction. All right. So as example, here I filtered uh, just one store to to see. Uh, the distance from all my clients to this specific store. So I have key just that this that store, this number, and if I put that in the browse tool to see the handler, I can see here in this map all the the head points here is my my sources so my customer points, and the green one here is my destination so is my store and that's how we can calculate the distance between points in Altrex. if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted thanks for watching